Okay, let's do this. So in today's video, we're gonna cover your first encounters. Yay, finally some action. So we're gonna cover the most basic of all the many, many ways to create combat encounters today, which will be the random encounters while you're walking on the map. Well, let's get started. So to set up combat encounters inside a map, you will need to right click on the map settings of the map you want to implement the combat encounters. In this case, we're going to use this old world map, which we created many weeks ago. So just go inside editing. And from there, you have the encounters tab and you also have encounter steps. So this is what you use to set up every single random encounters that your character will be able to run into. Now the encounter steps is the average amount of steps that your character or player are going to need to do in order to encounter a combat. So for today's video, we're going to keep it very small since our map is quite small indeed and set that number to five. So that's the average amount of steps that the character needs to do before encountering any kind of monsters. Now we're also going to need some monsters. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to use the troop number one idea, which is goblin times two. Now, the weight is actually the amount of frequency which it's possible for the characters to encounter this tr particular troop. So that means that the higher the weight, the more odds that every single time that a combat encounter appears on your map, that this is the monsters that your characters are, or players are going to encounter. Now, you can also have the range to the entire map, so it means that it doesn't matter where the characters are currently stepping on the map. As long as they are inside that map, they are at risk of encountering these goblins. Or the option two is specified by region ID. Now that's something that we haven't covered yet. So I'm going to explain to you what exactly is a region ID. First, I'm going to select the ID one for the specific combat. Also going to use a new troop, which is going to be gnomes times two. The weight is also going to be five and the region ID is going to be two. All right, so that's the two different troops that our characters can encounter inside that maps, goblins and gnomes. I'm just gonna click on OK, and now I'm gonna explain to you what exactly are the region ID. Now, region IDs are basically an ID that you apply to any square that you have inside your map. In order to do this, all you have to do is go inside the mapping mode, click on the tab R right over here for region, and as you can see, you can apply any number between 1 and 255. So let's say that I want to apply the region 1. Click on my rectangle right over here. I'm going to just drag them all over there. So now every single tiles on that map over here are identified as region ID 1, which can then be reused for multiple informations. One of those uses is for traumatic counters. So that means that as long as the character is in stepping inside the region ID 1, he has no chance whatsoever to encounter goblins. Because if I go back inside my, my combat troops over here, the goblins are actually specified for the region ID 1. Now, for the gnomes, they're also set up but on different from the region ID, which is region ID 2. And I'm gonna just drag it up over here. So while the character player will be walking on the planes over there, they're going to encounter gnomes, and while they're walking over here, they're going to encounter goblins. It's that simple. And as long as they're not, as long as they're working over here, that is the safety zone. So that means that I can step as many times as I want over here. I'm never going to encounter any monsters. So let's just test it out. On new day. Now I'm just going to walk around over here, and as you can see. Absolutely nothing happens at all. And I'm walking a lot of steps here. So way more than the five average that we decided. Now, if I go inside the region ID 1 for a couple steps, we should encounter goblins. There we go. We are fighting against goblins. There we And they're quite easy to escape. Now, if I get out and go on the region ID 2, on the region ID 2 over here, we're going to encounter gnomes. There we go, some gnomes emerge, and I can try to take their ass. Now, of course, my combats are not set up. The, the position of the enemies are quite terrible as well, and it's just 
really really ugly to look at but that's simply to give you a good uh, rough idea on how the combat encounters work now we could also have it set up to the entire map instead so that means that the goblins could be encountered on the entire map and the gnomes could be encountered only on the region id2 so that means that it doesn't matter wherever i walk the goblins are always a chance to be encountered while the region id2 over here i can encounter goblins and or gnomes depending so let's test this once more There we go, that shall be goblins, exactly as I predicted. And if I go inside this region, it can either be gnomes, but if I keep fighting, we should be able to encounter some goblins as well. There we go. Okay, so that's it for today's videos on combat encounters and how you can set up random encounters on your maps. As you can see, it's very, very simple and super straightforward. So make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever, and I'll see you later on a new video. Bye! Okay, bye!